everyone! Today I've designed a really fun art class that is appropriate for children ages 3 and up. So you and your um, 3 year old can really enjoy this. They can practically be on their own as long as you don't mind them getting a little messy. It's going to be a paint project. Um, even children as young as 2 years old could do this if you sat with them. So we're going to be doing a really fun um, we're gonna do, I'm gonna do two different versions for you in the same artwork. We're gonna do a little finger painting and you can also use a very simple round brush as well if you want to for this. And we're gonna be making a spring scene, um, very simple kind of like rounded flowers sticking out of stems. So I'm gonna get right into it. Um, so, you know, if you're three, if you're four, if you're five, you can do this, okay? So we're gonna be starting with our paper. Our paper is gonna be the long way. It's gonna be set up on our table the long way. So it's going this way, not this way, okay? And we're gonna get our, <clears throat> either a black pen, black colored pencil, or a black marker. And we're gonna go ahead and start drawing in our stems. And I'm gonna do five stems. All This is so easy, okay? We're gonna do one line, and we're gonna do it high up in the middle of our paper, okay? One, two, three, I might do more than five actually, four, five, and six. So I've done six, almost like I drew sticks. Notice some are down, some are higher up, some are lower. So I did them in varying heights, okay? So to keep it simple, friends, six sticks, some are lower, some are higher, done. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just draw in our leaf. And I'm gonna just get a crayon for that. And we're just gonna do a really simple oval. Simple, re really simple. And just color it in, okay? Really, really simple. Just like, don't even mind it if you can't make it perfect, okay? Just on each one. So you're just following me along doing these really simple things. That's it, just six lines with some very simple ovals around for our leaves. And then, sorry, I didn't tell you beforehand, if you wanna go ahead and get your paints, all you need are three colors. We're gonna just use white, red, and blue. So you can use any of the primary colors, so that the primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. So we're gonna use white, and you can pick any two of the primary colors. These are our primary colors, okay? These are the colors you cannot make. You can mix new colors in them, but you cannot make them. So either these will work, this will work together, or this will work together. I've chosen white, red, and blue, okay? And so I'm gonna start off with a brush. I'm gonna paint three of them with a brush, and you're gonna see how simple this is. This is why even a two-year-old could do this if you want to. All you need is to get your brush. Um, I'm hoping at home you have either tempera paint or maybe even if you have watercolor. Um, with watercolor, all you have to do is wet your palette. And you're going to just do the same technique that I'm about to do, okay? So I'm going to use my paints as if they're tempera. And all you have to do, all you need is water. Make sure you have your water your palette, and I'm just gonna start with my red. I'm gonna dip it in, and I'm just gonna poke circles, just like that, around my branch. And then I'm gonna take my brush, I'm gonna put it down, I'm gonna take my other clean brush, okay? And I'm gonna get my white, and I'm just gonna poke white on top. Wow. So I'm noticing that my color is magically transforming into like pinks. And if I wanna get really excited, I'll, I'll do my next one in a different with mixing colors. So I'm gonna get my other brush, my red brush, and I'm gonna wash it. Okay, so to wash, my friends, we're gonna do Let's dip, 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 white, white, white. And I'm gonna try out another color. I'm gonna get my blue. And I'm just gonna do dots around it. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, I got eight dots and I'll do one on top like that. So easy, okay? I'm gonna drop my brush in and I'm gonna get my other brush. This one shouldn't be in here, I only, I only need two brushes. 
I'm gonna get my other brush and I'm gonna wash it. And we've done this before in class. We go dip, 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 white, white, white. I'm gonna get my white again. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna just do a little white on top. Not a lot, just a little. And my beautiful blue is beginning to get little shades of light blue as well. <gasps> I love it so much. So what I'm gonna do next, we're gonna mix it up. We're gonna try it with both red and blue. Let's see what happens. I'm taking my new brush, dip, 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 white, white, white. And I'm gonna get my red and I'm gonna go around one, two. I'm just gonna do all around, just spots. I don't have to try so hard. I'm just doing spots. Just make sure you control yourself. It's okay if it gets a little messy. And then guess what I'm gonna do, friends? I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna wash it. So dip, 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 wipe, wipe, wipe. And I'm gonna get my blue. We're only using three colors. And I'm gonna put it right on top. I wonder what's gonna happen. What's gonna happen when I add my white? I'm gonna wash my brush again, or I can use my other brush that I use for my white. <gasps> What's gonna happen? I'm not gonna do a lot. I'm just gonna do a little and I'm gonna mix a little white on there. Oh my goodness. What is happening? Whoa, it's beginning to look like light purple. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at all these beautiful colors I've, I'm able to create. And I might even add, I might even use this new color and add it in parts of my painting. Why not? Okay, so I've got some really pretty colors here. I've got some pinks. Let me bring this closer to you. I've got some beautiful pink flowers. I've got some blue flowers. I've even got some nice purple flowers that are all different types of colors. Now, if you wanna try this with brushes, you can. If you want to try it in a different way, I'm gonna show it to you now. I'm gonna show you how to do this with watercolor on one branch, on a couple branches, and I'm gonna show you how to do it even with our fingers. So let's start with our fingers, okay? I know we like to get messy, we might be bored at home. So I'm gonna use my pointer finger because I can control it the most, and I can do the same thing, okay? I'm gonna dip, now we are not gonna get crazy messy. This is just for making art. So I have my paper towel ready to go if I need it. And then of course, you know, you gotta get mom and dad's approval to do this at home, okay? Or, you know, your adult at home, whoever is watching you. But I can pick up my red with my finger and I can do the same thing. Oh, how cool is this? So I'm picking it up. Look at my hand. Everything's clean except for one finger, okay? Because I'm a professional artist here. This is not for me to get messy. This is just for me to make cool art. Wow. And now, guess what? I can do the same thing. I have almost no red left. I'm going to dip my red finger into my white. Look at my hand. Totally clean, okay? And I'm just going to go right on top. Or right even underneath, actually. I'm going to get a little more white. Whoa, I love this. I'm like loving it so much that I'm just gonna do a couple more stamps. <gasps> How fun. Okay, I don't even have that much paint on my fingers, so I'm gonna take my paper towel, I'm gonna wipe it off, okay? And we're gonna do this one in blue, just to show you what it looks like. And then this last one we'll do in watercolor, just so that you have a variety, of, in case you have a variety of materials at home. So, same thing, friends. We're not getting so messy. I don't wanna get my beautiful clothes dirty so quickly. I'm going in with my blue, just dip one finger. And here we go, all around the stem that we made with just those little lines that we did. <gasps> so cool, I mean it literally looks like I'm making like fingerprints, I can see my own fingerprint. And I don't even need to wash my finger, I'm gonna just put it straight in the white. Did I get my whole hand messy? No, I'm a professional artist. And I'm just gonna put a little white on top of my blues. Whoa, how pretty does this look? So I've done some of my branches and you can go ahead if you wanna try this one in the mixed colors, you can do that. 
you would just want to pick up. I could even add now if I want to get a little red. I could see what a little red might look like. Don't be afraid to get to experiment as long as you're neat, okay? So I've got three branches that I tried out with just brushes. The key was washing our brushes. I've got two branches that I've made with just one finger. Let me wipe it off. And for this last branch, I'm going to teach it using watercolor in case we have, this is all you have at home. Oops, <laughs> in case this is all you have at home, um, you can use this. So it's gonna be the same idea. We're gonna make sure we have clean brushes. And here we're gonna open up our palette since these colors are already ready for us. So I could make this all rainbow if I want to. And all I would have to do is you make sure your brush is wet, activate the palette so that there's color on it. And just do the same thing. Just put a bunch of dots all around your branch. Now if I wanna switch color, make sure dip, 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 white, 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 move on to your next color, orange. Make sure your brush is wet and just put it all around your branch. Okay, dip, 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 white, white, white. I'm working my way down to the rainbow, okay? Notice my palette is totally clean because I keep washing my brush. So important when we're painting to wash our brush. So I'm putting my yellow dots all over. Notice I am avoiding I'm avoiding where I put red, I don't put yellow on top. I'm putting it around it, okay? Let's move on, I'm just gonna do green and blue, and then I think that'll be it. Dip, 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 white, 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 grab my green. I'm, I'm avoiding where I painted, okay? I'm only doing where I see there's no flowers. Dip, 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 white, 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 get the blue. Ooh. This really looks magical. Wow. Gonna wash it. Okay, I'm super happy with what I have. Um, I have three different ways that I can do this drawing, this painting. So fun and easy for kids as young as two and up. Let me bring this picture up close so you can see. Remember, you're just starting with six lines. Draw very simple ovals in crayon, and then either use your brush to mix some colors around here, or use your fingers and have some finger painting fun to paint around here, or grab your watercolors and make a beautiful magical tree out of any, or flower blossom, or I don't even know what this is, but it's kind of like a flower tree, magical flower tree in any color you want, okay? So I hope you really enjoyed this. Hope you don't get too, too messy. Um, literally, I'm totally clean. I don't have any paint on my clothes, so you can do the same. Make sure you roll up your sleeves when you're working, and hope you had so much fun. Thank you.